I think that's recording. All right, Roger, you said to me yesterday or a couple of days ago when you were analysing the local elections that there were a lot of independents that had got a big share of the vote and this was being underplayed. Then it turns out that you have a video released by Navarra about their interview with George Galloway and they're very specifically focusing on some of the things that he said. I think he said, not for the first time this week, that he's a practising Catholic. And then they asked him about his views and was talking about gender in the education system and how he felt that um, gender was an issue in the Scottish and the English education system, how it's being, um, how education is happening. And then he said that he would like his kids to be taught that living with a mother and a father and that type of family structure is not I think, I think first he said it's not equal and then he said it's just not the same as a uh, same-sex uh, parent family but he didn't say that one was worse he just said that one was normal yeah first he said equal and then he clarified and he said uh -huh. normal uh, and I just thought he was being given a hard time here and that it's just a big distraction and effectively Navarra are doing because Peter Tatchell talking about it basically just said, oh, not all Muslims are homophobic and all of this type of conversation is happening. They're, they're all straw men arguments. Oh. Um, the Navarra breakdown of that video, OK, the actual video that was streamed uh, has got headings and the I, I've broken this down and I've updated the blog I did earlier. But if you look at the whole of what was said, I mean, I, I watched the whole two hours. I found it fascinating. But before I watched it, I watched the Aram Bastani analysis of George Galloway on uh, Good Morning TV when he was talking to Susanna and Richard Madley. And during that analysis, there was an interjection uh, by someone I've never heard of, someone called Helena. And uh, she was particularly cross with George Galloway because he denies net zero and is against net zero. And there's all the woke agenda. Now, one of the other things that is highlighted by Bastani in, in the sort of the analysis of what George says later, and it's a classic lesson in rhetoric and straw manning, um, Early on, he drops in one of their MPs was suspended from UKIP for making homophobic comments, right? So they're already sort of easing that in gently. Now, it's an establishment hit actually on a democratic grassroots working class party, which is what the Labour Party is supposed to be, but which isn't. I mean, uh, basically, the Labour Party is a middle class debating society for Oxbridge graduates is what it is um, and 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 uh, so anyway that analysis kind of is the setup for the straw man and then obviously Bastani has his set questions and asks the questions and so he leads into the question with, uh, with to George Galloway um, first of all by saying oh you used to be like Jeremy Corbyn I thought you were new li left, but now you've changed your position. And he gets into, is this political opportunism? Are you really just playing to the gallery, etc.? What uh, is new left? What is new left? What is that? Uh, well, it's something that people who aren't really left wing sort of call themselves. They're, they're the new left, Wait. which isn't left at all. They, I mean, they're like George Gallagher. They're, they're, they're a base of bleeding heart liberals. Um, that, the, you know, they don't know what they are, who they are, you know, and, 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 and oftentimes, you know, they, they get their pronoun nouns confused. <laughs> so anyway, it's an establishment hit piece. And if you watch the lead up to the question and then the way the questioning goes now, undoubtedly, George Galloway um, says what he says, and I think he means it. Um, and so 
But across the whole piece, what, what none of them are quoting about is, is, is he, uh, Bastani was saying, oh, if someone's got a gender assignment certificate, then surely you wouldn't object to your daughter getting changed in a changing room with them. And what George Galloway was saying, well, actually, if they've still got a penis, I don't want them changing in the, in the changing room with my daughter. Uh, right. So they, they do have this long, long chat. And the 96 genders bit was the leading into that. And then Bastani sort of is the one that says, oh, well, it's not you go from 96 genders to um, gay marriage or something like that. This, this this whole spectrum idea. Wait, so this clip this clip is an hour in. It, it well, I, let me share my screen. I can show you. What, um... No, but I mean, but, sorry. I mean, what I was asking was that so this clip is not at the beginning. This is way in. Yeah, it's way in. Um, but but the thing about it is, is that it's it, it's trailed three or four days before. Well, I'll show you now in a minute. Where are we? Um, so let's have a look. Where are we? Um, yeah, and they say they say Galloway showed his hand. Oh, it, it, well, this is what they're trying to do is they're trying to follow through on the setup of the straw man, which was this analysis of him being on Good Morning Britain. But none of this is any new. I mean, I found a story from 2005 where, you know, they try to accuse him of the same thing. I'm going to read something in a minute, which I think is quite funny, which I've put on this blog. Um, uh, right. So there are loads of headlines. Um, Galloway accused of blatant homophobia, leading on Yahoo News, um, Microsoft News Network, and all of the usual suspects, just about every single regional newspaper, and just and, and the independent the garden, they, they, they all basically essentially have the same headline. So it's being led by, uh, you know, by, by, by the news agencies or whatever. So it, it, it's a lined up hit piece, obviously, cooked up after the Rochdale by-election win, when Rishi Sunak took to the steps of Downing Street in panic. You and know, then it's very interesting how the timing of this, as you said, means that it's just even easier not to talk about the in, uh, the number of independents that, that won uh, Well, it, it's independents and then people not buying into the binary yeah. cheeks of the art, same arse argument it's a very good argument that george um galloway makes but the ind independence are a great part of that now the establishment doesn't mind about the green party and it doesn't mind about um the uh reform party because that's basically a managed fire break or the yeah. Dems or whatever right um they're, 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 they're fine with that they've, they've got that one covered but independence you, they can't cover and an electorate willing to uh, to to vote for um, a non. I mean, I don't know. This is in terms of funding of the the, the, the Workers Party, right? I I don't know. I haven't looked yet. I haven't looked at their accounts or anything like that, right? So, um, the. But, but let's just do a few of the points first. Let's, let's just do do this this. The full interview. Um, this is the precursor bit. This is this is the setup of the hit pipe piece with this person called Elena. Uh, hold on, no, no, hold on. So it starts at. But yeah, what are you what are you telling me now, Roger? Because right, so um, what you say? Work politics and LGBT education is the heading. And that starts at 32 minutes 53 into the interview. OK, okay. okay. right now there is a snippet in the um, George Galloway bites back on Good Morning Britain. So this is a quote about conservative election candidate Harry Booter suspended by party over comments about homosexuals. 20th of April 2015. OK, and that is actually mentioned by Vistani in this. You know, um, it, it, it basically is teeing up their shot. Um, now, and an evidence that that shot was teed up is this 
this this um, this story, which yep, yeah, this is the one. No, that's not the one. There's another one here somewhere. Um, it takes a bit to jump around this stuff. Uh, here we are, Manchester Evening News, okay? 2nd of May, 2024, 12.41pm. George Galloway, Rochdale MP, criticised for, quotes, blatant homophobia after saying gay relationships are not normal, quotes, right? Now, that's the 2nd of May. This was broadcast yesterday, the 5th of May, and there was supposed to be an embargo on it until after the elections. Well, 2nd of May was Thursday. That was the day before the elections. They were trying to damage their electoral prospects, OK, particularly you know, uh, 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 you know, around Rochdale and stuff. So, uh, I mean, this is on the blog, so everyone can look at that. So then Peter Tatchell gets wheeled out talking to Rachel Johnson, right? Um, oh, woe is me, it's all terrible and all the rest of it. Now, what I'm going to read now is um, I took all the relevant bits out and dumped them into... Uh, Monica into chat GBT okay yeah. um and you know just to get the the main points and what have you but I, I gave it this instructions write the following input in the style of a reasoned objective reporting of the arguments presented remembering the interviewee's stonewall award for support of gay marriage legislation which is something he does you know he says when he's talking to Aaron Bastani so anyway, in a recent interview, George Galloway. Are you saying that um, Galloway got a Stonewall Award? He did. When, when the vote for gay marriage was going through Parliament, OK, there was some, or, or it may even have been the legal age. It was the legal age of consent that followed on from that. Um, and um, he was one of only 10 Labour MPs that actually opposed or got the amendment through that it should be the same age of consent you know whether it's heterosexual or bisexual or, or, or homosexual it should be the same right and and apparently he got a stonewall of water i mean he goes i mean he explains it in length if you watch the whole interview you can hear him you know he says himself so um, in a recent interview, George Galloway, a prominent political figure known for his support for, of gay marriage legislation, discussed his views on woke politics and LGBT education. Galloway, who has been recognised with a Stonewall Award for his support of gay rights, expressed his concerns about the current state of education and the implications of certain teachings on children. I mean, yeah. so, I mean, you can, this is on the blog. I, I asked it to write it as a hit piece as well. And, that, you know, it's, you can turn it into either, but the the framing of it and the setting up, the setup of it, uh, the fact that the headline appeared on Thursday before the elections, it was embargoed until the Sunday, and then there was the pylon. Okay, um, it's it's incompetent smearing. It's incompetent smearing. So I don't know if you remember, I, I made a video called the Crosby Show about yeah. Crosby, the, you know, and, 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 and the thing about you have to get surrogates to smear the, your opposition or whatever, all of that stuff. So it's straight out of the Lytton Crosby playbook of smearing opponents. But in this case, they're, they're trying to smear. What they're trying to do is smear George Galloway, uh, Muslims in general. Um, and but also independent voters that they're going to try anyone that isn't <clears throat> uh given a blue tick or a red tick by the red or blue team is suspect of having suspect views it you know it, it's all it, it it's um you know if, if you haven't signed up to the mainstream there must be something wrong with you you know you must be mentally deficient it's, it's pure fascism it, it really is i mean it, it, it's it's uh when it's done this incompetently, it's really quite funny, but it's hard really to see it as funny because it's such a serious attack on 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 on, on democratic values. Um, 
but yeah so anyway i like to say i, I analyzed it but that that segment which um so when he was on lbc talking to whatever that guy was called he he, he played the, where he saw oh, george galloway's hung up or whatever and the, the, the guy uh didn't play the the bit about the 97 genders and all this sort of thing certainly mm. didn't talk about swinging dicks in the girls changing rooms um but you know this progressive woke education is not popular with working people it's it's not popular with with um with most family type oriented people it, it's you know it, um why on earth anyone should think anyone else is even interested why they feel the need to you know, have some sort of endorsement for 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 their own private affairs. I've I've no idea, and I feel yeah. I'm George Galloway said that too. I couldn't give a damn what people do in their own bedroom, but you know, don't don't you know, don't write books about it, promoting it in the classroom where my kids are. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That that's a perfectly um, reasonable approach to take as a parent i mean it just is yeah i mean i've i've been involved in education but mainly for adults and there's been times where i've been educating and responsible for groups of teenagers and things like that and i mean there's there's levels of regulation but there's levels of freedom in the classroom to be able to run it and I would not dream of um, yeah, imposing well, uh, normativity. You know, apart, from, apart from bullying, you know, I would say no one's allowed to bully each other, but I wouldn't impose uh, anything like that. So anyway, I, 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 I'm it, it's just a hissy throwing the toys out of the pram fit by the establishment. And they... What it is, they want their ball back because they've been rumbled for the anti-democratic, anti-working people robbing fraudulent, parasitic arseholes that they are. I mean, it, you know, and obviously um, that's that's going to take a little bit of time for them to get the hang of the fact that people have actually twigged um, that, that, that they're full of shit. You now, can I can I just make a pedantic point here, which is he said equal. And then, you know, in the thing with um, when they said, you know, we'll break it down, they said he said it's not equal. And then he said, actually, I mean, not normal. OK, now, from a etymology perspective, the word normal, I was kind of thinking you've got normal in terms of biology and statistics. And you've got normal in terms of the word normative. You know, if you say that's not normal, sometimes people can say... Or natural, or, I mean, in statistics, there's such a thing as a normal distribution. Exactly. And so when he says, I don't want my students to be, my, my kids, to be told that this marriage is, uh, that, that both are normal, then... I think that from a statistical, biological perspective, for him, so, I, it's it, normal, it, that's not. he's not saying one's good and one's bad. He's just saying that's no, normal. he absolutely isn't. And I mean, he, he he's obviously a very capable speaker, and so one must assume that he chooses his words carefully. And you know, um, I mean, he's big enough and ugly enough to defend his own uh, thing. My, my my take on it is that it's um, it is making a mountain out of a molehill. Um, you know, it, 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 I think it is just it, it's it's pretended outrage, yeah. and the agenda here is to try and um, damage their electoral. Pro Again, it's just going to backfire on them. I mean, um, in the LBC thing, for instance, they're, they're all the people in support of the, I think some reporter got sacked for basically supporting people in Gaza, Shad, Sajita or something. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, I, you know, it, it's a massive own goal by the, you know, the incompetent establishment. You know, both the, the, you know, both sides are uh, are incompetent. Um, you know, the usual suspects have thrown their toys out of the pram, spat their dimmy, the, 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 they've thrown their toys out of the pram, spat their dummies out, and wet the bed on this one. So you know, he, uh, but hey, there you go. Mm. Well, it's also a case of if I can't. So, so I, I'm guessing that Galloway has not gone in there thinking that this is going to be adversarial. You're asking me about me, and I'll tell you who I am. I, well, I, I he says I think at one point. Um, does he say it in the interview or is it in the one he did afterwards? Uh, or oh, not the Andrew Barr? Yeah, I, 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 I think he's had experience of them before. I mean, Aaron Bastani pretends to be such a nice guy. I mean, I do. You know, I think he's a good journalist. I, you know, he, he's obviously a, an intelligent guy. Um, but he's carrying water for the establishment and he's carrying water for the Green New Deal agenda, which is fascistic, which is, um, you know, I, I, it, it, it's not in favour of prosperity for ordinary people. It will impoverish people. That's what net zero will do. That's what it's designed to do. And um, he's clever enough to work that out for himself. Why he chose, chooses not to is anybody's guess. Um, you know, he, he is misguided. He's the misguided and deluded one, not George Galloway. You know, the villain here is like Bastani, not, not George Galloway. Mm. You know, how do you know that they... they, they They don't come up the expect to an expected standard, you know. Us older folk that remember, you know, prior generations of politicians, the the quality, the average quality of the, polit the politicians has gone down. Just has in general, it has that it's almost like grade inflation. Do you remember when um, when they had a trouble before? When they had a problem before? I think Aaron was on George Galloway's show. And George Galloway described Julian Assange as perhaps lacking sexual etiquette or something like that. And so there was a huge spat then. That would have been... yeah, But he's absolutely true. I mean, I said at the time, if he behaved the way he'd behaved with those two women with either of my sisters, I'd, I'd, I'd have laid him out. I'd have, I, you know, I would have punched him in the mouth. He was a cad, a bounder and all the rest of it. Wasn't a rapist, but he was a cad and it was unacceptable behaviour. And those of us that have you know, certain standards would, 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 would take him outside and give him a good pace. Yeah, what, what, what I'm saying is that they said, so Navarra, they basically said uh, Galloway was out of order because Galloway. I know that I know. I, yeah, I realise that. But that's, you know, yeah. they, you know, in the old right guys call them cucks. <laughs> you know, that's just they, they, they're they're whatever they are. You know, you really don't want to be in the trenches with those people. But of course, they'll never be there. You know, that's that that that's the thing. It's it, it's it's the working people that fight the wars. I, I watched the Socialist Party of Great Britain's party political broadcast from 2005 again today. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I, you know, I, 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 uh, so I found it has only got it's got less than 5000 views after all those years. And it's one of the most instructive pieces of political economy education there is. Right. Yeah. It's it's absolutely amazing. Um, and I, You know, I, I have a lot of sympathies with their revolutionary theory. I mean, I, I you know, it, it's it's very interesting stuff. I, I um I'm not saying I'm going out on the street corners to sell newspapers for them. I'm not. But they, their analysis of capitalism and of the left right thing uh, and, and how politics under capitalism is 
their analysis of what the Soviet Union was. Um, basically, they, they, they called the Soviet system state capitalism, state monopoly capitalism. Uh, and and I think they're absolutely right. I really do. I mean, I, I did a blog earlier where I where I put all that stuff in there. Um, you know, it doesn't stop me being or identifying as an industrial capitalist of some sort. Um, I mean, I'm more of a distributist than a capitalist. But I, you know, I, I mean, I'm not really a NIST or an ISM kind of guy. Um, you know, I, I'm for prosperity and 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 you know. Well, I guess the, the Churchill's the one who said about the net that no one should fall below, wasn't it? I mean, you know, so whatever he was, was he a liberal? Was he a conservative? Was he a Whig? I don't know. Um, I don't care. But he said that, and and it's you, you can't argue with it. I don't think. Um, so yeah, I mean, I George Galloway is not perfect, you know, and I'm sure he has genuinely offended some people. But they've just got to get over it. It doesn't matter. You know, politics, looking out for, you know, the the public good or whatever um, is, is, you know, speaking one's mind um, is allowed in the public square. It's not their safe space. And, you know, requiring a space. A, a, um, a safe space to defend um, what are opinions or whatever. I mean, it's just it, it, it's, um, it, it, it's 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 double standards, really, Ranjan. I mean, I and and the the mo what the hell, of Rachel bloody um, Johnson. I mean. You know, well, who gives a fuck what she says anyway? I mean, you know, who really gives a damn? You know, her brother should be on trial in The Hague along with Tony Blair. You know, her brother who buggered up the early peace talks in Ukraine and is responsible for several hundred thousand deaths because of his own um, fiduciary objectives and and incentives in 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 collaborating with someone like Z Zelensky you know i it, it, it's it's beyond it's beyond the realms of public decency that that woman should be um you know sitting in as a sort of a scab for someone who's been and what she said about muslims as well she basically just said yes what? oh i mean i mean she's obviously not the brightest knife in the box um but... this, obviously obviously I'll, I'll, I'll you know we'll, we'll wrap up soon i've actually been communicating with aaron um and it's kind of interesting you know i've sort of said to him because you know the, one of the things says galloway showed his hand um uh, so i've uh, said uh, well did you know what in this I, I was thinking of that as a as a metaphor in terms in terms of the hand in this little spat George Galloway is holding all the aces. He really, I mean, he's, he, he, he has, you know, the, <laughs> the story being leaked to the Manchester Evening Post or whatever it was on, on, on the second. So that's the Thursday before the elections on the Friday. OK. Uh, that's it. We know what they've got, and we've got all the high cards. You know, Gal Gal he he is not in the same league as Galloway, and Galloway is absolutely going to give him a good spanking, and he deserves it. He he's he he is being disingenuous. He's being mendacious. He's straw manning. I called him out for straw manning, uh, having a go at someone. Uh, about cultural Marxism, saying, oh, cultural Marxism isn't a thing. Cultural Marxism is a thing. The Frankfurt School is a thing. You know, so again, this is kind of, that. those are the sorts of semantics that, you know, he'll have his semantics about heteronormativity or whatever. Um, but the semantics of barefaced fucking lying, right, they go way over his head. And that's because he is... 
Um, he's 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 a two faced hypocrite, basically. Um, and I, you know, I I I I I would pay to see him and Galloway sit down to discuss these things again, because you know he hasn't got any arguments. He just hasn't. I, you know, I, I, so as I say, I mean, you know, I, he may be a friend of yours or acquaintance or whatever. Um, I, I don't have much time for him myself. I mean, I, I, I think he's acted it really, he's been a real shit on this, um, which isn't a disappointment to me because I kind of already suspected as much. Well, I mean, I've just, I've just told him. So, for example, right now, I can see this picture because I said you shouldn't have said uh, the Galloway shows his hand thing. So that, so. Apparently they've changed it, but not from what you sent me. And um, and then I said, look, look at the fucking picture you've put of him. You've got Gall- oh, you've got him looking all learned and, and, and Galloway looking all crazy eyed. Eyes are facing like the yes. you know, like, like he's a confused, not trustworthy, like not the full shilling kind of person. Oh. And then Aaron coming in. So I basically told Aaron, look, look at what you've fucking done. And he's like, uh, yeah. Um, I, you know, he's carrying water for the Green New Deal fascists, is what he's doing. And he's no better than a bloody fascist. Well, he is a fascist. It's as simple as that. That stuff is all pure fascism. And they're dressing it up as whatever they call themselves, you know. Well, I, I don't know what Bastani identifies as, you know. I don't know if he's a super luxury, um, literal communist. You know, fuck them. They're, you know, it's just, it's all out of fucking books. Yeah. All right, Roger. Well, good chatting. And um, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Let me know. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I, I, um, I, I'm, it's, it's, I've got some business to sort out first thing. And if I get it done in time, I'll jump on the train. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I'm slightly... Yeah, out, out of shape at the moment, just trying to okay. um, figure out with it being a bank holiday, I've got four days, but you know, I'm definitely going there. But I'm, um, yeah, okay, hopefully well, think- it will be tomorrow. Wait. Yeah, okay, take all care. right, mate. Cheers, Ranjan. Take care, bye.